Hi Capricorn, this is your April reading. So we are going to talk about, oh, by the way, it's for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Also, if you're spying on a Capricorn. So we're going to talk about your general lesson or theme for the month, your money and career, your love life, whether you're single or coupled, uh, how other people perceive you or kind of affect you in April, your emotional self, and then I'm going to give you a crystal of the month. And um, spoiler alert, your crystal of the month might be my favorite crystal this month, aside from bismuth. I don't remember who had that, Sagittarius, but this one's pretty rad. <laughs> okay, let's get started. Okay, Capricorn, what's up? Ooh, they say it's really, really hard for you this month to take ownership of uh, kind of like how you're feeling, acknowledging your own misdeeds, and then like how did you contribute to like the misdeeds of others, learning everything and accepting it as lessons and like applying it like, you know what, like maybe I didn't handle that right and I could do it different in the future. It's just like avoidance. This is a hard, hard challenge for you, and um, it requires you to balance out every single one of your chakras in order to really fully embrace and master this. So, I wish we would have started with something more like, well, the challenge is just um, to be more open to receive all the abundance and love in the universe, but hopefully it'll still be a great reading. Um, okay, what's going on with your money, speaking of which? with your money or your career in April. They're saying everything like from an emotional standpoint is pretty balanced. And so even though your circumstances might not be amazing in April, like things outside of your control, they have nothing to do with you. Like emotionally you're in a good place and you kind of realize that. And so as a result, things will start to grow and blossom and develop uh, because you're maintaining a not so negative mindset. So that's great news. They're saying really just stay focused on the things you're currently focused on because you are on the right path. They're saying it is going to be a slow growth process. So for example, if you're starting a business, it'll take some time for you to start really earning a profit. If you already have a business, same thing. If you are working towards a promotion, it's like a slow crawl, but you're going in the right direction. It's just taking longer than you want. In regards to your love life, if you are a coupled Capricorn, it says um, flirty text messages is the way. Like it can get so passionate, hot, and sexy if you're in a relationship. Like it'll just be so lusty. Your partner will be running home to bone ya. So that's good. Make sure you're sending those um, dick pics or whatever it is you do. They're saying um, like whatever cycle it is that you're going through right now, it's not yet complete. However, some of you might be inclined to be um, sending those kind of lusty messages to somebody who isn't your committed partner. And what happens if you continue to do that? Because I know that's not all of you. Um, well, <laughs> good news, bad news. <laughs> good news is you should be able to get away with it for most of April, not that I would condone that. However, uh, bad news is your partner might eventually find out, but in April, probably not. It looks like it would be about four weeks until they do at soonest. So there's that. They're like, eh, don't worry about it. I feel so bad. <laughs> anyway, uh, for those of you who are single Capricorns, they're like, you might be a little bit depressed about the fact that you're single. They're like, yeah, maybe pretty depressed. And like sometimes you're like, you know what? I got this. It like, gets under control. Like there's just, the right person just isn't available for me. Like the universe hasn't provided them yet because everything happens in divine timing. Like I got this. Like it's cool. Um, but then you start to focus on it again and then you get depressed. <laughs> so you're like coming from this like negative space and you're kind of like, okay, wait, wait, wait. I'm working on my self-development. I'm trying to grow. I'm trying to use the law of attraction to draw somebody in. I'm cool with it. I'm totally cool with it. And they're just like, just kidding. Fuck that shit. I'm not cool with it. <laughs> so you might be a little bit all over the place. But this is a good sign because what it's saying is you're developing mastery over your own emotions like, and how much you're going to feed into those. Like you're choosing your belief system 
okay? And so this is a good thing. You're on the right path as well. Um, so anyway, tips and tricks. They're saying, you know, as a result, though, of all of this stuff that maybe comes up, like for, for your emotional state and being single and stuff like that, you might be inclined to just kind of like throw yourself into your work and then say, that's not the way to do it. What you're supposed to do is, um, yes, maybe put a little bit of this idea like to the side about your sadness and stuff, but instead express gratitude that you're not in relationships that are meaningless. Like, cause if you're holding out for true love, you're not going to continually attract meaningless relationship after meaningless relationship over and over and over again by participating in that, in that and showing the universe that's what you expect, if you know what I mean. They're saying a big challenge for you is to heal. Like you're teetering between healing and hurting, but that's okay because it's not just doom and gloom. Like you're teetering between the two. So you're moving towards the right direction. How does, I'm going to just like peek ahead and see how May li might look for you. And they're like, you know, it's, it might be a little bit slow for the right person to come through for you, but at least in May, you'll be more enthusiastic about it. And the chances are a little bit better. There's only a few weeks left in April anyway. So hopefully you'll just kind of be mindful of this and be better able to navigate the situation. Now, how are other people affecting your life or perceiving you in the month of April Capricorns? And they seem like you're, they're like kind of thinking that maybe you're not so good at saving money. And so, you know, potential love partners and stuff like that, they're like, ooh, that doesn't, mm, if they're not very responsible with money, they're probably not a good match. And I know we're not talking about love anymore. We're just talking about people in general, but that's a general concern that other people have. Like they don't trust you with money. Um, not that they think that you are a thief or anything like that. It's not that kind of a vibe. It's just that like maybe you're not very good at saving it or you spend it too much, things like that. Like not, they don't think that you're crazy or impulsive or like a hoarder, um, but they just think like you, like they love you, <laughs> but, but they're just like, you know, I would do it different. Like my theory or the way that I handle money is completely different than this person. And you know, so it is what it is. And um, they just kind of wish that you did it differently. And so you might experience like a little bit of judgment from somebody. Like if you ask to borrow money from somebody, they'd be like, um, I'll borrow it to you, but why do you need it in the first place? Like why did you spend your money like on the super rad moped or whatever, <laughs> you know? Like they think you're just like all about um, fun and exciting things, accessories, new clothes. And so you might experience a little bit of judgment you know, like that, like when you buy new things, they may be like, where'd you get that? How much did you pay for it? And really it's none of their fucking business. But anyway, um, so you've just got to kind of tell them, like, look, I know that you care about me, but my money is my thing. Move on. Not your deal. Your emotions aren't tied to my finances, bitch. Ooh, my gosh. Excuse my language. But it's true. <laughs> okay, your emotional self. What's up? They're saying you need more sleep. You know who else needed more sleep? Uh, Pisces. Pisces did. So either you're not sleeping enough or the quality of your sleep is a little bit wrong. Maybe you're falling asleep with the TV on and so all those messages are seeping into your subconscious that are like playing in the background. Perhaps you have um, too many thoughts before you go to bed and so it's hard to fall asleep, it's hard to stay asleep, that kind of a thing. So how are you gonna fix that? And they're saying pray about it or um, ask spirit, universe, whatever, meditate before bed, um, listen to uh, what do they call those? Binaural beats or isochronic tones to help you to fall asleep and to stay asleep. So anyway, um, the reason why spirit wants to bring this up is because they're trying to heal your emotional self. That's when your angels can get kind of like get in there and work on you as you're sleeping. That's why sometimes our dreams are really um, revealing things to us about our daytime life and how to solve problems. It's also why if you struggle with math or something, they tell you do your math problems right before bed and then if they're hard, shut your book. Don't continue to obsess or work on it until you solve it. Go to sleep and then look at it again in the morning because it's like all of a sudden, ding, it just clicks. And that's because spirit works on you and you're sleeping. And so you've got to be really conscious of um, how you're sleeping in the month of April because it's going to play out in your emotions. Like you'll be crabby and stuff if you don't sleep right. 
Okay, so that brings us to your crystal of the month. And your crystal of the month is Jade, which a lot of people use as um, luck or prosperity crystals. Uh, you'll often see them shaped into like little Buddhas and things like that. I can't get them out of my little container here because I'm blonde and I didn't realize that I have to open it on the other side. Okay, um, so this is what Jade looks like. It's green. Isn't it cute? These are all tiny. I've only got tiny ones this month. Anyway, if you get them from me, uh, it comes with all of these little videos on different ways that you can use crystals. Since these ones are polished, they're good ones to stick in your bra, especially because it is a heart chakra color. And so since it's correlating with the heart chakra, it's right next to your heart chakra then, isn't it? If it's in your bra. So uh, what does it help with? It helps with preservation of love feelings. So this is love for others, love for yourself, love in general. It helps with compassion, inspiration, spontaneity, problem solving, which your angels are trying to do with your sleep, um, with taking action. It's kind of like an inspirational one. I don't know if you saw that little angel orb just zip right by right there in the video, but hey, somebody needs a stone for inspiration. So if it's you, make sure you get one. Um, soothes your irritation, which you're going to need if you're not sleeping right. Helps with luck, prosperity, and it ensure, and it like helps you to have like a longer life. So that's really cool. There are stones that work for anti-aging. I don't know that this is one of them, even though it prolongs your life. I don't know. I'll have to, I'll have to look at my notes and see which ones are those. Anyway, helps with uh, your metabolism. It helps you to heal. So you know what, for example, if you get a cut and you're healing a lot quicker, I don't know why that wouldn't help with anti-aging, you know, because it's cell, because it's creating more cells. So perhaps it does. Somebody can comment in the bottom and, and let me know. Helps with labor and delivery if you're pregnant, gets rid of back pain, does so, so many things. Um, there's a fuller list on the website if you want to know more about it. But that's your crystal of the month, love and light, and I hope you have the best April ever which you're more likely to have if you get more sleep. Thanks so much for watching this video and getting all the way to the end of it. I really appreciate your support. If you are interested in other videos, click here. If you are interested in subscribing, go ahead and click here. Hit that notification bell so that you get alerted to when new videos come out and also when I do surprise live streams. And then if you're interested in winning a free 20 minute video uh, reading personally every month, go ahead and click right here. Mwah!